I'm Sir Taptop and welcome to Let's Play Secret Habitat. So this is an art gallery simulator. I really love Strange Things use of colors. I, uh, I'm gonna do a bunch of Strange Things games. I think I have just about all of them downloaded. Strange Things, general thing. You've seen, um, uh, what was it? Like the Pyramid Gate or something? One of Strange Things games already. Um, <clears throat> but generally speaking, Strange Things games have really awesome color palettes with lots and lots of pink and procedurally generated stuff. So here's some procedurally generated music for us. Catchy, isn't it? I wonder what would happen if you put a real art gallery full of procedurally generated crap and, like, not terrible stuff, but, like, you know, stuff kind of like this. Like, root frame. Um, oh man, I got a few old Parker. Um, <clears throat> you know, stuff that kind of could pass for someone, a human making it, and just fill an art gallery with that crap. And see what people think of it. And you know, don't tell them, you know, it's procedurally generated. I love the purple sky, or pink sky, rather. Oop, excuse me. Parker's my buddy today. He's. Let's put some nice music on while we're observing. Stretch payment. The names are obviously procedurally generated, too. There's some really cool ones. How ball. Made goes. Oh man, I found really good horse apparatus, if you know what I mean. Um, advice horn. Yeah, there's some like this that are kind of neat looking. Some just are mostly one color. That's kind of boring. Judge dog and window base. I love these windows too. I want windows like this. Like, whoa, like windows that change color as you like are at a different angle like the world would look way cooler with windows like that then again this world looks cooler already but uh Woo. sudden black that is a very good one it really evokes the sense of sudden blackness oh hey you can advance with the mouse that's nice I kind of like when you can play a game entirely with the mouse fall soon. Or entirely without the mouse, but you kind of need to look around in this case. Wall rough. It's a shame there's no names for the music. I wonder if the names are just random or if, like, the names are the seed of the music or the thing. Paste ink. Ticket measure. Feeble margin. See, strange things, games. That it's usually procedural stuff. And oh, I wanna. I love this water too. And the reflection. Uh, it's mostly just a neat little world to chill out in and look at some weird crap. Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, these are great. Sign air. That's even a good name. This is definitely one of the best. Oh, this whole room is great. Grain edge. Report roof. Offer fork. You know, when your friends don't offer you a fork, that's what you see in your mind. It's It just makes a lot of sense. It seems like the different rooms have the same, like, sort of general theme. Parker, you're on the space bar. Oops. My cat is making me jump. He's and the building shapes are all procedurally generated. And whoop! Well, everything is procedurally generated, so that's really cool. It's not just. Um... Wait, we... have we been here? Idea ant. Dark couldn't. No, we haven't. But we've seen some similar stuff. It's a shame most like half of them are like black or a solid color. Yeah, there's definitely themes within a, a building. There's a theme. That's really cool. 
main drink. There was a great one. I, I can't remember exactly what it was, but it was like Stop Mother, Glass Like. It's an allegory for Facebook. Um, it, it was like something about Mother, and it was a very good one. <gasps> Ooh, I like these. Poor late. This is what happens when you're poor and late. This. This. Are you ready for it, people? Are you ready? Oh, man. this. I hope there's a lot more in this one. Because these are, this is a good, this is premium stuff. Ooh, yes. Yes, river kettle. Ah, oh, these are good ones. Stock voice. Ah, oh, these are all good. Yes, idea find. Whee! And I love the little balconies and stuff. The architecture is so cool. I wish more walking sim stuff, like, there's a lot of blade air. Look, it even makes sense. Um... There's a lot of walking sims that are very small, and, you know, they may be just a couple minutes. I don't mind that sort of thing, but, um... I wish some of those were more like this, like Strange Things games, where you can just walk around for a while if you like the world, and you can just enjoy it. I didn't realize the trees moved in the wind. That's cool. Oh, let's find a few more different art styles here. Did we already go up here? Yeah, it's Blade Air. And so when you play this, sneeze lost. I hate when you lose a sneeze. That's like when you when when you think you're gonna sneeze and then you, you tear for yourself and it doesn't come out, this is what happens. This is what happens, Larry. Anyway. But yeah, I just like I wish more walking sims were procedural and you could just cool place to chill out. Chemical Shock. That's a pretty good name, actually. And a pretty good picture. Roof Man. Roof Man, Roof Man. Hey, mind. Writing Rest. Oh. <laughs> I like these dead-end weirdo buildings. I should stop at some point. I can probably go on for a long time. Wait, oil trade. Have we seen these? I don't know. Picture part. Color true. You know what would be cool? It's just a ton of different pictures, like picture part one, picture part two. And it's like it's like assembling a RAR file. Ugh, RAR. Not even once. If you still use RAR files, by the way, don't do that. Use um, normal zip files, really. But 7-zip is better, too. Um, and if you use, if you make itch.io games, RAR files actually prevent people from using the app to uh, play a game. I just got a text or something. Um, I guess I have to stop my, let's listen to some nice music. Ah, did you feel that tickle your ear? Oh, that's good. Mm. I like how there's like one-fourth of an earthbound battle theme in all of these. Like, you can just kind of hear it. It's not all the way there for sure, but there's a tiny bit of, you know, some earthbound stuff going on in there. Ooh, see? See, it's like one-tenth of battle against a machine. And there's a little bit of gigas and stuff in there. I love these little lakes. You know, when when I get... I've said this many times, but when I get a VR headset, I just want to chill out in, like, cool little neon lakes and run my hand through the little low-poly grass. This, this stuff, just feed it to me. Just pour it directly into my brainstem. This is the best exhibit yet. Just look at these exhibits. Oh, of course. This one. This is one of his early works. Yeah. And this one. You can see some clear influences in this one. I, I don't find it as interesting as the rest, but there's still some there's still some things to see in there. And this one. <laughs> Everybody knows this one. Ah, I like that one. 
was a good that was a good exhibit. Something I really like about procedural stuff is just some of the really weird stuff that happens. Friend bridge. It'd be kinda neat if you could set how big the exhibits are and find like or like you know, just one huge massive wood kick. Like a huge massive exhibit hall. Shape group. Though I kinda like the idea of this. Like an art gallery that religioned that. Just an art gallery that's like spread over an impractically large amount of space. And you just walk around, jump out balconies like Superman, and go up ridiculous, unnecessary staircases. And you can see some nice art. It would cost like millions of dollars for no reason, but look at this one. Mar war glass. Main broken. Decision year. Full driver. You can all see a face. Oh, that's good. That's good. Profit bent. See, tell me you can't hear just an inkling of Earthbound music in that. Oh, Earthbound's music is so good. If you've never played Earthbound, well, you already know, but you have to play it. I just love the weird sounds and stuff that they make music out of. It's just, it's so good. Oh, that's a pretty good one. Soap Run. No love. Indeed. Vessel Band. We haven't, we haven't got any, like, ridiculous, stupid names so far. Note tonight. Nothing like... Um, I think it was like forget mother or something. I don't know. I tweeted a picture of it. Can fat. All right, I'll keep going forever if I don't sell myself. So I'll probably let's just explore this one building. Unless this is this one we already went into. It's kind of hard to tell. Bath apple. Wonderful. Snake will. Oh yeah, and like I said before, I'll, I'll probably do a big like. A series of Strange Things games and like maybe post one of them a week. This is a good one. Record amount. There's Twitter accounts that post stuff kind of like this, you know, generative art. Some of those are fun too. Nice. That's actually some pretty alt-right ambience there. Alright, let's see. I love the ridiculous structure of the buildings. Like, look at this. So good. Alright. Ooh! See, this is... I wanted to finish the rest of the building, because I thought it might have some good stuff. Mini engine. See, it's earthbound music! That is totally a half-done Earthbound track. You can't tell me otherwise. Burn the blank. See, this one's a very powerful piece, because everyone inserts their own third word. What do you think? You disgust me. Brand anyway. <laughs> that's, that's how you succeed in business. Brand anyway. At seat. <laughs> I like this one. Plow blanket. Very to the point. Looks like an extreme close up of an old DOS game. Jelly feedback. Unit clock. Alright, have we seen all of this building or is there anything on this floor? Oh, there's more! <laughs> I love the nonsense architecture, it's great. Bell poison. That's a good, it's almost a topographical map. It's almost like SimCity over here, but like with Poison Sea. Oh, these are good ones! Fan mixed. West House. Imagine this place, but in VR and with like a bunch of other patrons seeing the same art as you. Or possibly more interesting, seeing different art than you. And you're like appreciating a piece. And you see a bunch of people disgusted all around you and you have no idea what they're seeing. Dead moon. Oh, these are bright winter. Okay, one last building. 
Uh, these are all the same. Oh wait, this one's different. Orange cart. News scanner. Isn't this relaxing? Can't Anne. Sometimes you can't Anne. Even when you can, even. <laughs> I like the ones that are 90% wasted space. And there's little benches. I wish I could sit on the benches. I guess this kind of suffices. Oh, this is this one. Coat motion. And this kind of looks like a coat. It's, it's like the motion of taking off a coat. This is perfect. You know what would be really cool? Um, is if the names were actually like fed through a bot, like Microsoft's description bot that tries to describe things. Though that might be kind of, I don't know. I'd, I'd want to see it. Pot move. Looks more like B movie to me. Start report. <laughs> yeah, that could be interesting. There's a bot that actually po posts pictures of what the the Microsoft bot thinks it's seeing. Sometimes they're fairly accurate. Sometimes they're pretty dang funny. Fish cow. We still have he's very much like that in the last place. This one's my jam. It's very close to being a good mixtape there. Alright, I said I would stop like ten minutes ago. Chin clock. Oh, th Look at these graphics. Oh man. That's some maximum dithering action there. I like how it's at a slight angle too. It's not just plain static, it's at a nice angle. Yes. Village reefer. Effect shut. Okay, this is the last one. I promise. Kisses within. Yeah, there'll be some other strange thing stuff. Skirt help. Door view. I like this place. I want to just hang out in a place like this. Wait, look, first things first, I want to get on the roof again, for old time's sake. Yes. I love how good your jumping abilities and stuff are. Too many walking sims that, like, try to restrict you too much. I know that when I say walking sim, I never mean it derisively. I don't think people could possibly still watch me make these videos and think I mean that negatively, but just in case you do. Uh, I could deal with a better draw distance. I guess it's not really the point of this game, but it'd be awesome to just be able to see like miles of this. <sighs> what are your final thoughts, Parker? I think he likes the video because I'm very calm. I'm gonna jump on that tree. Hold on. Hold on, this is dangerous. But, uh, yeah! Oh, yes! Oh, man. Any game is instantly improved by being able to jump on dumb crap you have no reason to be jumping on. Oh! I was, like, f standing on the branches briefly. But yeah, in Mega Man Legends 2, I was just jumping on all of the crap that you can jump on is just one of the best parts of the game. And in the original, too. Like, I was awestruck. Oil growth. Number poison? Oh! That. That is a good one. I said I would stop, but I can't. Um, crack past. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, but just in Mega Man Legends, just the ability to jump on stuff, it just made the world feel so real. No matter how simple it was. Like, and at the time, it was like fairly groundbreaking, I think. But I just really liked that game. I should do a video. I guess they're not too long. I could probably do a video of that. They'd probably get content ID'd by Capcom, but uh, one content ID every billion years isn't too big of a deal. Content ID has been giving me less crap. Sorry, something about this game makes me never want to shut up. Door narrow. Okay, for reals, the last one this time, I promise. I've said that like five times. Actually, it is streets! It's streets! It's beautiful. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. Let's just take a quick dip in the water. I love the just just water everywhere. I want to I want to know what the stuff tastes like. I bet it tastes like strawberries. Uh, I actually love those sound effects. I'm just gonna enjoy this for a minute.
That is some good sound effects. Wait, is this actually the end of the world? Hold up. Okay, this is a fitting end to the video. We're just gonna explore the void. <sighs> Goodbye, secret habitat. You know, I did this for like two minutes in Proteus, thinking there would be other islands. I was wrong. <laughs> it's not gonna stop me. Neat. Well, that is Secret Habitat. It's View Bob. I'm not sure the View Bob should be applied when I'm looking up, but whatever. I love that water shader. But yeah, that is secret ha- er, yes, secret habitat.